Well, for more than two weeks now, protesters have hit the streets of New York City demanding change, and today will mark the 16th straight day of demonstrations following the death of George Floyd. Our CBS 2's John Diaz is live now outside the Barclays Center with the latest there. John. Yeah, good morning, Natalie, to you. Well, a fight for justice and police reform continues today. We are told that another Black Lives Matter protest will be held here in front of Barclays Center later on this afternoon. Meanwhile, Mayor Bill de Blasio announcing how a new community outreach program will work to better connect the NYPD with youth living in New York City. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Protesters took over the West Side Highway on Thursday, weaving through traffic after making their way around the West Village. The 15th day of demonstrations in New York City, emotional for many. Really great to see people to come here together to fight for a cause. It's be really traumatic for people. Midday rain was hardly a deterrent for the thousands of people walking the streets daily against police brutality. We're in New York City. We pay three different taxes, and we have to police the police. We're paying people to beat us up. That's not fair. Hours earlier, the family of 16-year-old Jamel Leach spoke to the media. The Bronx teenager is still injured after his arrest last week. Leach's family claims NYPD officers violently tased the minor in his face, mistaking him for an adult, then failed to notify his parents of the arrest. The department mishandled Jamel while in custody forcing him to leave the hospital handcuffed and shackled in the back of an NYPD vehicle with no clothing and no shoes. I'm not speaking just for my son. I'm speaking for every youth within America. This has to stop. Thursday, the mayor's office announced its Cure Violence Outreach Initiative will host a series of town halls with the NYPD. Where young people from the local community have a platform to express their concerns. NYPD officers will be there to hear the concerns and have a dialogue. But that is far from enough for these protesters who say they will continue marching every day until they seek tangible systemic change. This stuff is huge, but there's so much on the ladder that we have to climb. And now more celebrities are joining in on this movement. We are told that John Batiste from The Colbert Show will be performing later on this afternoon on the Black Lives Matter protest that is scheduled again for later on this afternoon. But for now, we are live this morning from the Barclays Center. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.